All right, we've been excited to talk about this one. When it comes to being productive, many of us focus on one thing, managing our time. Yeah, some people jot down to-do lists, while others might just stick to traditional calendars. But now some experts are warning that your obsession with time and time management might not actually be as beneficial as you think. Tanya Dalton joins us now. She's an expert on productivity and the author of the book, The Joy of Missing Out, Live More by Doing Less. So, Tanya, I understand that there's some point at which time management, or just even just kind of being obsessive, about it can mm -hmm. actually become a bad thing. When is it a bad thing and what does it actually do to your mental health? Well, here's the thing. It's like, think about time like waves at the ocean. We've all been to the beach, right? Mm -hmm. When you go to the beach, the waves are crashing in and maybe you want to float, but you can't make the waves stop. If you were to sit there and try to make the waves stop, you would wear yourself out. Mm -hmm. You become overwhelmed and exhausted. Same thing happens with time. It keeps it's, coming. It just keeps coming. So it's this force of nature that we can't really control. And in fact, we didn't even try to manage time until the Industrial Revolution. Mm -hmm. For hundreds of thousands of years, we had a beautiful, harmonious relationship with time because, you know, during the winter, we rested, we renewed ourselves. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Think about Laura Ingalls, right? They didn't, yeah. they didn't stay up till 11 o'clock right. at night doing email, right? They went to bed because they didn't have electricity. So we had times and periods of rest and renewal and then periods where we were more mm -hmm. focused on work. And we've lost sight of that yes. in our modern world. And we're really focused in on this concept of managing and controlling time which we can't do. We can't do it, but we are now in 2023. We're out of the woods, out of the cabin, and we do have emails that need responding to. Help us understand the different time management techniques. Are there ones that are better than others, the to-do task list versus the time blocking techniques? Yeah, well, one of the first things I say is throw out your to-do list, mm. which generally makes people like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, do it. Here. yeah. Well, we love our to-do list because we like making lists. But what the problem with the to-do list is it takes us everywhere but where we really want to go, right? And so what I like to say is focus on the quality of the work versus focusing on the time. It's not how much time do I need, it's what's the quality I want for this. Mm. So really thinking about what success looks like at the very beginning. You know what question I get a lot? Mm. When have I done enough? And there's no wow. answer to that, right? When have I, we never feel like we've done enough. But if you start by defining at the, at the at the beginning what you want the end to look like, then you know when you've done enough. And then you can go to bed satisfied, feeling successful. And I like that goal of having just a more harmonious relationship, right, with time in general. But, you know, we're creatures of habit. A lot of people have become accustomed to these sort of bad habits. How do they, they break out of that to, to try one of these new things? Yeah, well, I love that question because we are creatures of habit and we do the things that we look around that everybody else is doing. Mm -hmm. One of the techniques I like to share with people is the five Ps. So the first P is to purge, get it out of your brain. We use our brain as a filing cabinet, which adds stress, which adds a lot of overwhelm. Just write it down on a sheet of paper at the beginning of the week. But wouldn't that be like making a list sort of? It is kind of like making a list, but we're not worried about that. We're gonna use that as our well to draw from throughout okay. the week, because each day we're gonna do the second P, which is process. Hmm. Process each day as it comes. Spend five to 10 minutes doing our third P, which is prioritizing. What are the three to five things I wanna prioritize for today that will help me feel successful at the end of the day, right? That's oh, our like third that. P. Then we have our fourth P, which is protect, where we get to that time blocking idea, where it's, okay, these are my priorities, mm -hmm. let me block out my time and mm -hmm. protect it so that others don't impede upon it. Okay. And then we have our fifth P, which is to propel, all right? Today was amazing, let's set up tomorrow for success. Maybe jot a few notes about what you wanna to accomplish tomorrow. Give yourself a couple of ideas of what's coming up. Mm -hmm. Look at that list that we started off, that purge list from the beginning of the week. Come up with some ideas and set yourself up for success for the following day. So you're not saying don't do the tasks. You're saying organize the way you think about them differently and it's not just about crossing things off. It's that the How third P, right? The prioritization. Yeah, and processing, right? yes, exactly. exactly. How do you translate this to helping kids and help parents helping kids be more productive with their time? Well, I love that question because I'm a parent myself mm -hmm. and I'm a former teacher. So I really think it's so important to set up our kids for success. So one of the things that I do with my own family and I encourage others to do is to have a team meeting. We have our team at work, right? We have all the people at work that are our team. We also have a team at home. Our family is our team. So it's really great to have a team meeting. For my family, we do that on Sundays and we get together and we talk about what are our priorities for the week? What are my kids' priorities? They tell me and I tell them as well. And then we figure That's out what they need to get done, right? I love and that. then they create many milestones for themselves. 
Very cool. Productivity expert Tanya Dalton with some really actionable tips for us. Thank you so much, Tanya. Love that one. <laughs> Thanks, Tanya. You are watching NBC News Daily.